Hey there, happy autumn. I'm so excited to be here right now. I got the house to myself. <laughs> yes, I've been trying to make this video for, I don't know, like an hour. And there was all kinds of noise with the dogs and the housemates, but bless be, everybody went on a walk. So, glory, it's time to tell you what's going on. Um, as most of you know, I just came back from an amazing trip to France. I spent seven weeks in France this year. <sighs> it was so good. But not only was it good, it was really shifting for my business and my life and myself. Um, I spent a lot of time up on the top of a mountain doing my vision boards and just expanding my views and a lot of things were uh, just unfolded. Let's just put it that way. I'm really excited with what the new year is going to bring. I'm excited to bring forth this magazine that I birthed up on the mountaintop um, called Millionaire. It's going to be a great combination of the travels, um, the people along the way, the inspiration, the collections, the process of making the collections, as well as all the learnings that I get as an entrepreneur and a maker and an artist living my life following my heart. So this is a really exciting thing and there'll be another video for that. But today, because I'm getting ready to make these shifts and changes, um, I realized it also shifts and changes the way I want to do my business. And in the past, I've always made originals, like this hat, one of a kind. This is the only one there is, right? This is the only one. And I've loved doing that. But as I grow my business, I am now switching towards making lines where I make a collection and I have a hat, something like this, but I'm going to make 20 of them. So it's a different sort of way of running the way I do things. And seeing that I'm going to be going abroad more because, number one, I love it. That's the most important thing. I absolutely love seeing new places and new countries and meeting new people and being around different cultures and creating in those cultures. So that's happening. Um, but that means I have to really kind of pare down my studio here because most of it's going to be a traveling studio that comes along with me. And, um, you know... As I do that, I'm looking around and seeing things that I'm not using. And I came across a collection of hats. Um, they were tucked away nicely in a box from when I closed my shop at the Market NYC over the um, early part of spring. And I thought, you know, these are great hats. They're, they're really beautiful. I'm so excited to show them to you. However, I'm not going to make these ones again because these are all one ofs. A lot of times it's the fact that the materials, I don't have any more of the material. Um, so they're one and onlys. And I thought, well, you know, I want to let you, my endearing public and, and clientele, have the opportunity to score on these hats right now. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the collection. I'm going to try them all on for you so you can see. You'll see the photos as well, so you can kind of get a deeper look. And these hats, um, in general, they would retail anywhere from $225 to $350. So, and these are, you know, that's the standard rate for the collection I'm going to show you. But for the sale, which is really exciting, I'm going to do them for $100 each. What? I know, but you know what? I totally appreciate you, and a lot of you are collectors of mine, and you deserve a really great deal. So that's the deal here. $100 for the hats. They're $25 to ship, okay? Can't really do anything about that. That's just what it costs. They're not going to come in a hat box. They're going to come in a nice shipping box. So um, in lieu of the hat box, it's a little less than normally what I pay for shipping. But, yeah, they're going to come to you USPS Priority Mail, and um, if you happen to live internationally and you're interested in one of these hats, you just need to add another $20 in. And yes, it's $20 more, but at the same time, the hats are $225 to $350. So you'll be getting this hat for $145 with the shipping included. That's still a good deal. Even if you pay taxes on it, once it gets to your country, you're still getting a good deal. Okay? So let's go. This is exciting. And I got to do it before the dogs come back from their walk, okay? <laughs> So I'm going to start out with some fall transition hats because that's what's happening. 
um, here in the East Coast. And for many of you, it's time to, we've just changed the equinox just happened and fall is here. But even if you live in places like Hawaii um, or sunny California, uh, these hats that I'm gonna show you right now are perfect for that year round, okay? This is one of my favorites. This is what I call a dim sum. It's a style I've been making since the very beginning, like 24 years ago. <laughs> and I use Lahala, which is a material that I started using when I lived in Maui. It's a tree that grows along the coast, um, especially if you're in the Hana Coast. It's really quite a beautiful tree. Looks like a Dr. Seuss tree. It has these pointy leaves that come down and these little pineapples that grow in the tree, or they look like pineapples, but actually they're the seed pod. And when you break them apart, they have like a little bristle on the end and the um, Hawaiians used to use them for paintbrushes, so that's kind of cool. But they would take the leaves and strip them and weave them, and so this is lahala. It's also called pandanus. And this is a dyed lahala, so this is a nice brown color, perfect for the fall. Um, this fabric is from my very first trip to Paris a couple years ago, and this is so special. It's got these little tiny flowers and multiple colors in it. It's just gonna go with anything like I'm just wearing a black t-shirt and jeans and this hat looks great with it and I love the pears because it's just a little touch of whimsy always put a chopstick in the dim sum and it's held on with an elastic okay so this hat fits anybody it's a great hat it lasts a long time it's it's sturdy I guess is what I'm trying to say the material itself is sturdy so this is the dim sum this is the only one like this the dim sum with pears okay give me a little hat here Let's move along. Here's another great dim sum. This one, perfect for this weather, for this season. You know, this is such a pretty color combination. These metallics and bronzes. Um, beautiful Chinese embroidered um, satin brocade. This is the natural color uh, Lahala. And um, of course, a bamboo chopstick. I always use bamboo if I can. And then these beautiful bronze colored berries. So this one's just a great hat. What I love about the dim sum is that you can dress this up or down. This would look great with a beautiful silk dress if you have an event to go to, but it's also just kind of a cool hat to wear with capris and a t-shirt just because you can, okay? So the dim sum with the bronze berries. Then I have a version that I made that doesn't have a chopstick, but it's, oh, I love this hat. This one I just made last spring. I love this hat. Um, I would keep it myself. I'd keep a lot of these, but I'm gonna be traveling and I can't keep them, you know? I mean, gotta let them find a life outside of my head. Um, Lahala, beautiful colored flowers on this, and then deep colored berries. And this is just, it's got a little bit of veiling. It just has this really cool look to it. So I love this, this is a great hat, okay? That's another one. Then we move into, um, I'm going to show you some of the dim This is what I call the daily whimsy. It's the felt version of the dim sum. This hat. This hat's really special. They're all really special. You hear me say that a lot. But I'm not, I'm telling you the truth, you know. I know what's involved with these. I know the specialness of them. This one, I just, I love this. First of all, these grapes, they're amazing. Look at the color of those. They're like metallic. There's bronze, there's a sort of brushed like rose gold. This is fur felt. It's this luxe um, velour fur felt in a brandy color with a fur felt black bow. This hat's awesome, okay? What's great about the felt version is that as you're transitioning in the season, you're gonna be getting, um, you know, it's a little cooler outside, but it's not necessarily cold yet. So this is a great style because it just kind of like taps you into the season, but it's not gonna make you hot, you know? At the same time, because it's fur felt, it is gonna be kind of warm on the top of your head, so that's a good thing. It's gonna keep you, you know, feeling like you're appropriately dressed. Um, and this one's great, you know, for any kind of occasion. You could wear this on um, through the holidays. This would be a great New Year's Eve hat. It's really a beautiful hat, okay? Awesome hat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. And it's like folded, you know, so that's how I make them. They have an elastic. You know I love the elastic, but the reason why is that it just ties under the hairline and it just stays on and you can hug people and you can dance and, it, you know, it's functional. So that's, I'm all about function more than anything. 
If you know you're going to have an event to go to, like say, I'm going to have really great hair throughout this whole thing. Um, Thanksgiving, this hat. This is what I call the Rosalind. She's so cool. She's really something. It's um, based off of like Rosalind Russell, okay? So she's the muse for this style. She's the muse for a lot of my styles, but this style in particular. This is a hand-sewn rose, and it's made with um, fur felt. It's also that beautiful luxe velour fur felt in the brandy color. I love this brandy color because it's got red in it. It's a beautiful brown, you know? These are what they call Aracana um, chicken feathers, hen feathers. And the Aracana chickens are sort of like a hybrid backyard chicken. They're like a fancy backyard chicken. Um, but they're cool because of the color palette, right? Because it's got that dark with the light. This has some beautiful brandy colored veiling over it. So it's really quite a fun hat. Fantastic with like a wool suit if you're going to an event. Um, and you can just lift the veiling up a little bit so that you can just kind of like fold it back. And now you can have like, you know, your water, which I'd love to have a little sip of. See, so easy. <laughs> this is a great hat, I love this one. Um, and it's sculptural and it looks beautiful from the back side too. So if you had your hair up in a poof, it would look great. But if you have short hair, it also really works. These hats work really great for short hair. So. I always make sure of that because me and my short hair. All right, so that's what I would call fall transition. Um, oh, wait, I got one more for fall transition. This also screams holiday soiree, and this is one of the steals in the whole collection. Holy moly, I can't believe I'm doing it, but yeah, I'm putting this tippy topper in the sale. The reason I'm putting this tippy topper in the sale, and I do make these, and this is always going to be, in fact, these are all like cats that, are part of the collections I make. But, um, you know, this material I can't get anymore. So I can't reproduce it. So it's time to let it move on. This is a fabulous hat. This is a Brazilian wool in this beautiful plum color. It has the Aracana feathers and also the Chinese brocade. And then it's wrapped in a little bit of brown veiling that just sort of wisps along the top of your face. It doesn't cover your face, which I like. I just like that it's there, but it's not in your face. The little tiny top hat, so super cute. You could wear this throughout the entire fall winter season for any soiree event. And then even into the spring because of the color purple that it is, it totally would work for spring until it gets too hot and you gotta go to straw. So this one, super, super, super score. Total super score. Love this hat. Kinda wanna keep it. I can't. I'm moving, you know. I'm going to be going to Europe, and I can't be carrying that as well. Trust myself. <laughs> okay, now let's move into the winter time. I have one really awesome winter hat to show you. Woo, this one. So beautiful. This one is called the Statement Cloche. It is totally a one and only. Look at this feather. This feather is amazing. It just drips down the back. It's a... um what they call a saddleback, so it's actually like a coke feather. Uh, I think it's coke. Well, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's amazing. That's what it is. And this is on a nice wool. So this is actually a very warm hat because it's covering my ears. It's nice and deep. You can also wear it a little taller if you like that look. You can kind of flip this down. So you can kind of give yourself like a couple cool different styles. Like this is a cool style too. Um, and it's super sexy. I'm gonna flip around the back. But with this thing dripping down the back, if you had like a wool dress that had like a, um, a back point to it, that's a really sexy hat, okay? I'm just saying. Super warm, super nice. This is the only one. This feather itself is just amazing. And it has this little iridescence into it, which is the natural color of the feather. Black, how can you go wrong? It's nice and cozy. My head is 22 and three quarters. I would say it's not gonna go much bigger than that um, because it's a snug fit. If your head's smaller, it's going to be fine, but just so you know, okay? So if you're like, I would guess that if your head was between 22 and a quarter and 22 and three quarters, you're going to be fine with this hat. Otherwise, pick one of the other awesome 13 choices, okay? <laughs> now, I also have this one. This is, um, I'm going to show you some hand-painted hats that I just, I love this hat. So, look at that. That's an awesome hat. I just love it. This is hand painted on wool. So it's this pink, pink wool. 
And when I got the wool, I thought, oh, it's so pink, you know, it's like pink. But then I thought, I love pink and red. I think pink and red is one of my favorite combinations. Um, and I love pink, red, and, and this like kind of turquoisey blue. So this is such a great circus hat, I swear. I mean, if I was a ringmaster, this would be totally, I'd be rocking this all the time. When I first started out making hats, um, I started out making, um, painting on hats. Uh, this was 26 years ago in Maui at the swap meet. <laughs> painting on straw hats that I found, um, fish and flowers and this and that. So to me, this is like such a full circle thing when I start to paint hats again. It's very full circle because now I'm making the hat. They're much more, um, well, High, high fashion, but at the same time, it brings me back to my roots of where I began. So I really love this one. It's got red roses on it. It's got a nice fun flip. It's very easy. It's a nice size. It's a little bigger than the tippy topper. You can see the size difference. It's a little bit of a bigger hat. So it's just, you know, really attractive. This is a fun one for sure. Super fun. And then in that, that same theme, this hat. Look at this hat. This hat's like, Totally painted, totally painted. It's painted on Toyo, okay? So this one is freaking so cute. It is so cute. It's all hand painted. I love this. I just think this is such a great style. It's a, it's really, 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 really fun. Um, the color palette's really fun because it goes great with anything black, but there's reds and oranges and yellows and pinks in there, so you really could put it with a lot of different things. And then I, I love this color that's sort of like the salmon-y color that I mixed up for the brim. Simple black bow, so it's going to go with anything. Very easy to wear. Um, yeah, this one is one of my favorites, as they all are. <laughs> I can't help it. I think they're so fun. Uh, yeah, it's just a really cool hat. You can see it's like from being painted on the inside. It's Toyo, so Toyo is a paper fiber, so it's great um, for painting on because it actually, you know, it's meant for that. And um, yeah, this one's such a cool art piece. It'd be great to wear to an art show. Love that hat. Then I have this one. This is also hand painted. This one's really cool. This one reminds me of Hawaii. Full on, this is like the anti, um, the hula, the kumahula girl, you know, um, with the jacarandas on it. And I just love it. I think there's something about like the Hawaiians always wore these boaters. You'll see like uh, Queen Lilio Kalani has the boater, you know, it's very kind of was the style. So to me, this just reminds me of like Ulapalakua, um, which is this beautiful part of Hawaii that's like up on the volcano and there's all these jacaranda trees and anyone from Hawaii totally knows what I'm talking about. And that's what this one is. This is a one and only, and this one's awesome. Um, I love it. It's just a really cool hat. Super, super cool. This would be fantastic to wear um, to Ulapalakua during the season of the jacarandas. I mean, the jacaranda festival, um, you would just be, you'd be it, okay? That's awesome. That's an awesome hat. We're not even done yet. I know, and this video is long, I'm sorry, but this is awesome, so, you know, so what? <laughs> this one. This one, this is a great hat, too. This is a dim sum, but it's a little bit extravagant, right? It's kind of very Hawaiiana with the, the orchids. I did a fashion show last spring, and so I wanted to make one of my dim sums that was a little bit more um, showcasey, so you could see it which was a good thing because the runway was in this gigantic ballroom full of women, but the, the runway was huge. And so you really needed this to be seen, which it was, and it was great. So if you can see in the back, there's this cool extra little orchid that just sort of hangs down. It's really beautiful. Um, Lahala, it's got the nice lined edge, so it gives it a crisp line. And then the Chinese brocade with the dragonflies on it, I think. Yeah, dragonflies. The color palette's really fun. This is a cool hat. Super cool hat. Very lightweight, too. Um, and a bamboo, bamboo chopstick. Uh, three more. Okay. This one. This one is just so darn sweet. Honestly. If you have to go to a lady's tea... This one. If you were having tea with the queen, if you were allowed to go have tea with the queen, this one. This is so like, you know, 
it's pretty. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. It's just so, it's pretty. You know, I just think it's a really pretty hat. It would be so nice with like a cream suit. Um, there's a lot of things this would go. This would be great for a bride. A bride that's getting married, say at a vineyard, this would be a great hat, right? Uh, with a beautiful bridal. Yeah, this would be awesome on a bride going to a vineyard. But in the meantime, if you happen to be going to a wedding that's at a vineyard, you would look great and you wouldn't look like the bride. So it's really going to be about what you pair with this as to how fancy you want to go. But it's a fancier hat. This one is hand woven. Um, I posted a picture of my first woven hat that I made when I was 24 out of banyan root and still to this day I weave and this is what it looks like when I weave. I was weaving woven braid. So the braid itself is woven um, and that part is you know not done by me but the actual weaving of the hat is. So you can see when I weave it's it just always has its own shape and I like the fact that it's kind of organic how it kind of comes out. These are what I call ice berries. This is the last of my ice berries. I love those. So pretty, that pale color. There's just a little glimp, a glimmer of um, iridescence to them. And then just a really pretty cream bow in the back, you know, and it's been wrapped around the whole thing. So this is a really special hat. Super duper, super, super duper, super duper, 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 duper score. <laughs> They're all a good score. This little guy too. If you, This would be great on a bride. But it doesn't have to go on a bride. This would also be just great on someone who's, say, going to, um, if you're going to a museum, like a modern art museum, this would be a great hat. It's just so sculptural. It's called Spotted Cream. And it's just so sculptural. It's this wired um, taffeta, so you can kind of play with it. But I like to kind of have it just nice and popped up. Um, if you're going to the Dinner en Blanc, this would be great. This is a super hat. Fun for the Hamptons. Say you're going to a Hamptons party. Say P. Diddy invited you to his pool party or Billy Joel. I'd wear this, you know, full on with a white caftan and endless champagne would be put my way. Okay? This is a fun one. But if I was getting married, this would be a great hat. For a city hall bride, super cool. Yeah. With a big poofy dress. Oh, yes. Okay, darlings. It's the last one. I saved one of the most amazing ones for the last one. Look at this hat. It's crazy great. All right, this one. Let's see, I want it to go. How do I want it to go? Oh, I want it to go like this. This is not a shy hat. This is not for the shy. This is um, definitely a one and only. This material I got in Paris the first time I went and then I hand blocked it. It's, a, it's Parisian straw cloth, so it's super awesome in this gorgeous sort of mahogany brown. These are vintage crocus flowers. Um, I thought about pulling them off and not selling this hat and just because the flowers are so cool, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not do that. I'm going to let them be on this hat because the hat's really great. It's kind of got this cool shape to it, and it has like a taffeta, um, a taffeta bow on it. It's very lightweight. Um, it'd be really cool with like a poofy hairdo or just even with short hair. It's very, very sculptural how it looks. And this is fantastic for horse races. Holy moly, if you're going to Kentucky Derby, bomb. This one would be so fantastic. So one of my favorites, um, great for, for any kind of occasion, really. And um, that is the collection, my friends. And this was a long video, but I'm glad I got to share it with you. If you have any questions, email me. This flash sale is not going to go past the weekend. So if you are interested, I mean, score it. It's $125 and it's shipped to you. Bam. Done. If you live in Canada or the UK or Australia, you add 20 more dollars. All right? Mwah. Ciao.